Hello everyone, my name is Daniel and I'm a programmer and an artist, and today I have a quick video about um, a trick you can use when you're trying to transfer UV coordinates from um, an original mesh to a copy of that mesh that you've modified in some way. Um, whether that's like by simplifying the geometry or if you did a like a voxel remesh using a volume or um, I don't know what all it might work for but in this case what I have is I have this roof and I wanted to make evenly spaced topology for that roof so I made this subdivide node group that subdivides it into little squares and that messed up the UV coordinates um, as well as losing the material which I had to restore but um, if you just try to so then if you take that original mesh that's just the simple quad and you want to transfer your UV coordinates, um, you could try to sample the nearest surface and plug that. Oh, and the reason you might want to do that, make the even topology like this, is to add some noise to the shape or something. Anyway, um, so I want to store the UV coordinates on this mesh. And I can do that by taking a sample nearest surface and connecting the UV coordinates that already exist on this simple mesh and connecting that to the value. So I'm sampling the UV map from the quad version onto the higher resolution mesh. And you can see that sort of works. If we turn off the wireframe, it's almost right, but here we have a problem. And the reason there's a problem here is because when it samples the vertices along the top here. Um, sometimes it picks this side and most of the time it picked, or sorry, most of the time it picked this side and then occasionally here it picked the other side. I don't know why exactly. Anyway, because it's sampling from the wrong side and then the coordinates weren't matching up perfectly, you get that stretching. And so initially that seems like it would be a very tricky problem to try and solve because how do you know which face corners are even affected by it? And then once you've found those, how do you, um, how would you figure out the correct UV coordinates? Um, seems a little bit tricky, but luckily I remember solving this when I was um, making rocks and I was doing, I was remeshing um, a shape to a volume and then distorting it some. And then I was trying to transfer the UV coordinates from a simpler mesh onto the higher resolution mesh that I made by um, converting it to a volume. And in that case, I forget exactly how I did it, but I, somehow I scaled the, the UVs slightly. And in this case, it's even easier because if we connect this to the sample position, you can see it fixes our problem. And the way it does that is I'm, I'm mixing the position of the vertices. So these positions right here say, with the position evaluated on the domain of the face, which will be the like the average of all of these, so it should be in the middle. And so if I mix, um, you know, 99% the position of the vertices with just the tiniest bit of the face, it pulls that the sample position down just enough that it correctly samples from the right side, from the correct face in the original mesh but um, not so much that you can detect a seam. Now, if you turn this down, you can see how it um, scales on each face. So you wanna keep it as close to one as you can. You could probably even go higher if you wanted, I think. Okay, so what is that? Six, six nines is too many, but five, it still works. Anyway, I thought that is um, one of those things that is just useful to know, so I would make a quick little tip video about it. That's all I've got for this one. Thanks for watching.